Now, have you seen the new Grok Avatar AI companion? I have not. Oh, okay. So it's a it's a, a, a sexy anime female. You talk to her and you see her on your phone and she's moving around. And when you say something nice, little hearts pop up from her and she's very, very flirtatious. And I do worry when I saw that for the first time, I, I felt a knot in my stomach for the first time. You know, I'm very cyber optimistic yeah. about most of this stuff, yeah. but it did make me worry about what it'll mean for young people to have such a magnetic AI companion. What, what's your take on whether it can go too far? Where this r falls apart, and this is something you know a lot more about than me, is that these machines are basically at this point abstract. They're not robots. They're not, they, they, you can't interact bodily with them. We have done much better at solving the computational problems at the abstract level than building machines that could deal with three-dimensional world. I mean, to put it a different way, it might have surprised a lot of people, but we, we very quickly came to develop um, machines that could beat grandmasters at chess. We don't yet have a machine that could load a dishwasher. Right. Let alone serve as a suitable romantic or sexual partner. So how far do you think we're away from that?